Hi, my name is Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I wanted to review the RCMA No Color Powder. I saw Kathleen Lights review this on one of her videos and she mentioned that um, it's the best powder she's ever used and it's half the price, which it was. Um, I got it for $12. Um, I'll put the link um, right here so you guys can go check out the website. And I wanted to try the powder on film. I haven't opened it. I just took it out of the packaging. It still even has the, the seal on the top. So I don't have any concealer or anything on. My face is pretty much blank and has no dimension. So I wanted to see what um, how this powder worked. The only powder that I have right now is this NYX HD Studio Powder. Um, if you guys watched my huge wedding update video, this is the powder I used in that photo of me that just looked horrendous. I'll put the photo back up here. It's the worst photo I've ever taken. And it bothers me because this is HD Studio Photogenic and this flashback is real, okay? You will look like a ghost. So. Um, Kathleen said that this does not have flashback, so we will see right now. And when it gets a little bit later, I'll be taking some photos on my camera to see if the flash has any effect on what my face looks like. So I'll be going in with my True Match Concealer in the shade N4 through 5 Light Medium, and I'll be using this to highlight the high points of my face. I do have freckles, so I do not like to put a lot of concealer on my face because, um, you know, I like them to show. And I'm looking over here because my mirror's over here. I'm gonna be blending this concealer in with my It Brush by Ulta. I know people usually do their concealer before they do their eye makeup, but I didn't want to, I just didn't want to. <laughs> And then to finish blending, I am just going to take my Real Techniques sponge with a little bit of the foundation I had and blend that in. Kathleen did mention that this powder was $10. I think the price has gone up since she's met mentioned it. Um, it is $12 now, not that that's a big difference, but um, mine was $12. And then with shipping, I think it was around maybe 15, um, I'll look it up, I'll look it up. But as you can see, when I put my concealer on, I kind of get a shine and I can't stand that shine underneath my face. I just, it irritates me. So we will be using the RCMA powder. I will be opening it for my first time. Before I go into it, I kind of just wanted to touch it and see what it was like compared to the NYX HD Studio. Right now, it's so soft and fine. So it's kind of putting a white cast on my finger, but that's just my finger, so we'll see. And then let's, I kind of want to feel the. Okay, the next one feels a little more gritty. Still really soft and fine, but just a little more gritty compared to the RCMA. I don't really like the packaging because there's so much powder and like, like how am I supposed to get to it? I saw that Kathleen, I think, tipped it upside down and then tipped it back up um, and it gives you a little powder on the top. So I'm just gonna take some off the top. Now you should be able to set your whole face with this because it's supposed to have no color, but I don't know if no color means like white. I don't know. Now I'm gonna take my, my Sonia brush and I'm going to dust away the powder that I have on my face. Um, Looking at it in my mirror, I'm just gonna drag this over here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, looking in the mirror, I do see a bit of a white cast. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. It It isn't awful, but it is putting a cast of white on my face. I'm gonna try to brush it off with a little more compact brush. 
I think it looks kind of ghosty. I mean, I think it looks kind of like, oh my gosh, you put powder on your face. Um, just for like the ultimate test, I do want to try to set my entire face with it to see what it, it looks like. I'm just going to be taking this brush and kind of just brushing this powder all over my face. I can see how this would be beautiful on her skin. She has like, she has fair skin. Um, obviously, you guys know who Kathleen Lights is, but she has like the most beautiful fair skin. And I'm sure this would look beautiful on her. I'm just getting a little bit nervous that this is going to turn me into a ghost. I mean, I'm looking at myself in my viewfinder and on camera, it looks pretty decent. But the ultimate test is to see if I get flashback. So we will see. Um, I am going to go in my bathroom, turn off the lights and take a picture and see. And then I'm going to also take a picture when it gets darker so I can put it up here. But right now on my face, it feels really good. I don't feel caked up. I don't look caked up in the mirror. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is I see a slight bit of a white film on underneath my eyes. And I don't know how that really looks on camera, but again, I'm going to take a picture and we'll see. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. I'm gonna go take a picture. I don't know, I wanna like it so bad because I love Kathleen, but I really, it's, it's, it's a good powder, but it's just okay. So I went ahead and took a few pictures. Um, if you ask me, the powder feels wonderful on your face, but it is so stark white that the no color almost is color. You know, it, I mean, I mean, for all skin types, no color powder contains absolutely no pigment, no perfume, no fillers. Man, I don't know. I just, I feel like my pictures gave me a little bit of a ghost, a ghost look. Maybe my camera sucks. Maybe it's Snapchat. I just... I don't know. Part of me just, I don't know if there is going to be a powder that can be this this white and will have flashback on brown skin. But overall, I wouldn't say that this powder is awful. I would just say that um, prepare for a little flashback if you do have some color in your skin. Um, but on camera, what I'm seeing, it looks actually pretty nice on camera. It kind of gives you like an airbrush look, which I like. So uh, it's not like I'm going to be taking pictures with this but I probably will be using this when I film videos on camera such as this. I realized when I was editing that I didn't really give you guys a closer look. I don't want this review to be super long but um, I wanted to zoom in a bit. So I've had this on for about two hours I would say and um, I can still see the whiteness right here uh, but I wanted to finish the rest of my face. I didn't um, add blush or highlight or anything like that. So I'm just going to go in with this NYX blush that I clearly broke. A bit of color on my cheeks that maybe blend that area a bit. Then I'm going to go into my Physicians Formula in Bronze Pearl and highlight my cheekbones. And then I'm going to set my face because it, I do look a, a bit too powdery for my liking. And I set my face using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. You guys let me know. I'm going to try doing one of those pull things. Let me know if you guys think that this is coming off white or if you guys think it looks fine, um, let me know down in the comments or answer the poll that I will have linked to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe as well, and I'll see you in my next video.